Hey everyone, Beth here from Corner Piece Studio. I hope you're having a good Thursday. I'm off from work today because I have dental appointments. I had one this morning and I have one coming up shortly. So I just figured I would come in and do a video before I have to go. I saw a video on, and I want to do it in my Daphne diary, my little Daphne diary that I'm journal that I'm making. This was from my first Daphne Diary magazine I ever got. So the only thing going in here is stuff from that magazine. It's from number seven, which is the fall one from 2018. That was my first Daphne Diary magazine I ever got. So I want to welcome you all here. I'm glad you're here. I'm thrilled you're here. I want to say a special welcome to um, some of my new subscribers that have uh, popped in, Doris, Janice, Lizzie, Sissy, Texeri, Datpat, Rhonda, and Sharon. And then also a very big thanks and welcome back to those of you that have been with me for quite a while. I really appreciate everybody being here. Please leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. I love to respond to the comments. Um, if there's something you'd like to see or you have a question about something, just please, please put it down below and I will get back to you. So, um, just one thing I want to tell you about Daphne Diary, um, journals and ephemera and things that you make, you may not sell them for copyright reasons. Uh, you can make journals, you can give them away. Uh, make them for yourself like I have this one that I have also made for myself that you've seen me play in um, but please do not um, sell anything from them because it's a copyright infringement so other than that you're welcome to do whatever with the Daphne diaries for yourself only or as gifts so I want to show you something that I saw on uh, Melina Pliant's channel last night. I loved it. It was a six pocket ephemera holder. And um, it's so cute. Let me take all this stuff out so you can see a little better. Six pockets, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can put any amount of ephemera in these that you would like. I just thought it was so cute and wanted to do it. It was fit, a lot of fun to do. So that's what I want to do in here today. I want to make those pockets. And I picked a page from the book. Um, it's this. It's a little thinner paper. It has a pattern on one side and the picture on the other. So we're gonna end up cutting it down and um, we'll go from there. So let's find a page to do it on today. I'm gonna to get a larger page. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing good. Just had to have a little bit of dental work done to repair a crown I have. Other than that, in a little bit I go and get the crown popped back on. So let's see. Let me see in the back here. Maybe I'll use this side. It would be a nice place to keep pockets. One thing I like about this journal is it is an elastic spine. And with the elastic spine, you are able to easily remove the pages and then put it back when you're done. Where in that one is, oh, they both are, okay. I have other journals. I don't have it handy at the moment. Wait, yes, I do. Hold on a second. I like this journal. The signatures are sewn in. One, two, three signatures are sewn in. And the pages cannot be removed. 
So with this and with this one, the pages are removable because the spine is elastic. Okay, for starters, I need to measure the size. Oh, it might help if I put on the light. I can't see. There we go. Um, measure the size of the page. So it's two, four, six inches wide. So I need, I'm going to do like five and seven eighths or something like that because I don't want it to be in the um, spine area. I don't want it to be in the way. So this piece, I'm going to cut it just a sneeze under six inches. Let me get this out of the way. Just a sneeze under six inches wide. I have been cleaning my studio, cleaning my work area. It's getting a little better. Okay, here's six inches. I'm going to pull it back an eighth of an inch. There. Okay, now the next thing is the pockets are three and a half inches high. So I want six pockets. I need to make cut three of these. because I will get two pockets out of each one three okay so now let's see because some of them are going to be this side and others are going to be that side I like this I want to see this so I'm going to cut it across there so I get to keep most of it. First of all, let me see if this works. Yes, it just leaves a little bit off. I'm going to cut a little bit more off. It's not... Yeah, I'm going to cut just a wee bit more off of these because it's still a little too wide. Because I don't want to get getting caught up in the spine. So I went to there there for three quarter I'll go just just a shave off all right that's better that's better all right where is the one that said happy uh, hello autumn right there so what you do is you put the let me bring this down you put the corner corner to corner on the where it cuts. Come on. There. This paper is a little thin, so it's a little harder to cut. Okay, so that was going down there. And this can go like that. How about that? That works. Okay, now does it really matter on any of these? Doesn't really matter what's up or what's down. So I'm going to put these on and cut them corner to corner also just make put, putting little, making little ephemera pockets in here which will help hold things okay that works so oh that did not work the way i wanted it to so let me see something that's three um i'm going to use that anyway and see what I can do. I'm going to use this and cut it. I should have cut it the other way. So let's see how wide this is. Right to there. Okay. I should have cut it in a different direction because... Um, I want, I want a different side because I don't want all these on this side. I want them staggered a little bit. I did it again. I did it again, folks. Cut it the wrong way so it's all ending up this way. And if I turn it, it's all ending up that way. 
So that's that. If I do this, there we go. I'm just going to turn it over so I can see the other side and cut it the way I want it. That's better. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. That works. And I'll just cut that little end off. That's not a problem. Okay, so... So I'm still having a problem. Okay. This is going to go this way on this one. Okay. There we go. One, two, three, four. You got to pull it so you don't see the inside. Um, let's see. Here. that and there we go and that now one thing I'm going to do differently when I glue down is I'm not liking that when I glue it down I am going to not glue the bottom of the top to sets of pockets because I don't want I want excuse me I should say I want to be able to whoops I so it's going to be this way that's okay that's all right going back to my first way I guess I want to be able to fit some bigger longer i should say tags in now if you want to vary it up like i did in the other one you can use six different pieces and where did it go you can use six different pieces one two three four five six i have six different ones so it doesn't end up being same same what I want to do is I'm not going to glue the bottom edge of the pockets because I want something longer to go in. That's how it's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to square this up, get rid of this. So I guess it wasn't a mistake in the first place anyway. So I got a couple more of these left that I can do something with at another time. So let's get these all set. So you want to be sure when you're putting these on that you don't leave them up too high because then you see your back piece. So you want to bring it down so it covers that. And it can be a little fiddly at points, but it, it works out. It works out. There. Oops. Is this the same height? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. I want that one. No. Just down. Just down. Okay, I'm going to line this up on my lines because I want to mark where the top one is going to be and then follow the marks. So I'm going to put this down here a little bit. There. So it's going to start there. Okay, let me get a marker. And I'm just going to mark the dot, the spot on the top where top my top point is going to end. There. Okay, let's get the glue. You're going to use a little, a little bead of glue on the edges. Let me get a piece of plastic to go behind. I don't want it to stick 
to the page underneath. There we go. There. So, um, what Melina did, she has shorter pockets on hers. It's just, her pockets are only this deep. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bead of glue right on this edge. And put it on because I don't want this to be closed I want to be able to put longer see I can now I can put a longer piece in here a, a, I could put a bigger tag in there if I choose if I close it it's not going to go far so I'm going to leave the bottom open there and just gonna put a, some glue on the edge of each one of these Okay, and just line it up. And I'm not going to glue it there. Whoops, I need to move off of the edge a little. I need to come over. I need to come over because I want it off the spine area. There we go. And I'm just going to put a little dot of glue here to hold my end down. But now it's still open. So you can see it's still open. So I can add some taller pockets. All right, where's... Here they are. Okay, two down. And the next two, I want to see. I want to do it so you don't see there. Okay, so I'm going to put a little pen mark at the top. Of where my points are going to be I need to see here that's there that's there but that one's a little too not deep enough this one is better this one is a bit shorter I don't want the short one I want a taller one I want them to match So I'm going to remark it. See, I do my videos in real time. So if you see me have a mistake, make a mistake, you see how I fix it. That's one thing I like about doing videos in real time. Okay, and we are almost done, folks. We got these two and two more to else to, to glue down and then we'll be done. And there's something different about the last two. And I think you might have figured that out already. The last two, I know I didn't put my paper there. Just don't want it sticking. The last two will be glued on the side and the bottom. But not these. This one is going to get glued on the side. Now, if you like what you see here, you want to see some more of my Daphne diary videos, there is... A playlist on my page for Daphne Diary and then um, please like and subscribe and you can um, oops, I bump that like and subscribe and then you will be able to see the future content that I have coming out I'm just gonna do that on the tip just the tip Yes, this would hold it down. It's just that um, I didn't want to do that. So this one I am going to glue down the side and across the bottom because now we're closing our books. Little wiggly. Now we are closing our bottom. So it doesn't matter. I don't need to put a dot for the top because I'm going to line it in the corner. There, it's in the corner. That's where it's going and it's meeting at the bottom edge. Okay, I'm going to put glue down the side of this one and across the bottom too to make it closed. Okay. And I'm going to line it up this way at the side. There we go. Let's get the glue off my finger. There we go. The pockets are on. Pockets are in. Very, very nice. Let me get my, my pen.
pin topper and my glue so it doesn't dry out. There we go. And put my pen cap on so that doesn't dry out. So there we go. We have six pockets here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, you need to, there we go. So the bottom ones are shorter. They're going to hold the shorter stuff. And the top ones, the higher ones, can hold some taller things now because I did not glue to the bottom. See, they, I, they can hold some taller pieces. See? Because if I didn't do that, it would only be able to hold short pieces. Now I can create a tag at another time. Come on. It does so want to work. I can create a tag to put in these longer tags. So there we go. There's our six pockets to go in our book. So it's fun. It's easy to make. Um, one thing I really like about the, the newer Daphne Diaries is the fact that... I can't find my book. Is the fact that they have double-sided paper craft papers to do different things with them back in in 2018 they didn't but now they do and um it makes it so much easier to do a two-sided project so isn't that cool so i'm going to put this back in here now Gonna do, uh, I will. I just got to get my hands going the right way. It's a little harder because it's the, the first and last page. So you just grab that and then pull and it's in. See, there's my pockets. See? And I'm going to, let's see, I have these little, ta these little papers. I grab some more and put them in here. These are from Daphne Diary um, date book. And they'll fit before they wouldn't fit very far. See, they don't, doesn't go in too far. So it doesn't go in far at all. It just sits there and that's about it. Now I have the deeper pockets where I can make some tags and put some tags or taller pieces in. So I'm going to let those dry for now. At another time, I will make tags to go in here and um, and some more ephemera to go in here. Where did that envelope go? Here it is. I have these little bits that I cut out of the magazine. So you can just stick some little bits in. Here's another one. Just stick some little bits in to save them for another time. And then the taller pieces can go in there also. I can leave this in the plastic for now. And get that in there. There we go. And it fits and it stays. It's a good place to hold things for when you want to use it. Use them at a later date. And I can do that with these also. These can go in and set and sit here to be used at a later date. It's so nice to have pockets in your journals so you can put things in to save for a later date. So it's just nice. So thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Um, sorry, it went a little longer than I expected. It's done. And please, if you like what you saw, you want to see some more um, of my content coming up, please like and subscribe and um, also leave a comment if there's things that you want to see. Some people had asked to, me to do some painting for journals or in journals. I My next one will be, uh, I will be, where did it go? I will be painting a large master board 
with watercolor and show you how to get these cool lines in it. So, okay, so for now, here we are with our six pockets for today, our six pocket storage. It's in my Daphne diary, my little one from my, from my very first Daphne diary I ever got. So thank you all for being here. Hope to see you, hope you're here for my next ones. And until then, bye for now and have a great Thursday evening. Talk to you soon. Bye.